what is good J.I. Squad and welcome back to yet again another episode of J.I. Productions. It's your boy J.I. and I'm back at it again with another banger video for you guys. As you guys can tell by the title and the thumbnail, today we are doing my 30,000 mile, technically 20,000 mile review on my 2021 Camaro SS1LE. Yeah, what's up with it? Do it cause I love it and I stuck with it We ain't with the sub and in the cut with it Please none of the talks, I heard enough of it Like, what you gon' do? Where you at? Who you with? You ain't really about this, don't talk about it Really on the move, on the map, never slip Keep your hands to your lips, don't talk about it Real eyes, real lies, real lies All the time, stand on it If we said it, we don't walk around it Loose lips, ink ships, red cup, blue strips New phone, who this? No, we don't allow it Currently getting filled up on some 93 right now. Not running E85. If you guys have been in the loop with all the past videos from last week, then you guys will know why. But if not, basically Houston's supply of E has just been trash lately, bro. Like, honestly, I don't know what's going on, but like, legitimately, bro, it's been like E60, E65, E66. I haven't found E85, even E70 lately. So that being said, I just been pumping some 93 in the car and I get more pops out of it. So, you know, it's kind of a win-win. The car is still fun on 93, doesn't really matter. Now, with that being said, man, the reason why I said we are doing the 20,000 mile review video is because the car currently has 30K on it. But if you guys are not new to the channel and you've been a part of the JI squad for a while, or at least since I've gotten this car, y'all know I bought the car with 10,000 miles on it. So I've put personally 20,000 miles on this car. But hey, you already know you gotta get that second pump. You did make sure it's full. 6840. Boy, I tell you, <laughs> I tell you. Let's get a quick start up real quick. Lie. <laughs> it gets me every time and then look at that carbon oh my jesus and then more carbon oh my jesus so there you guys can see it 31,005 miles and for those of you who are curious chill out my boy anyway for those of you who are curious a full tank 93 gets me 204 miles <laughs> having this car on 93 I mean how can you not enjoy that <laughs> oh man should we go second to first screw it <laughs> sounds so good all right man so now that you guys got your daily dose of cracks and pops and bangs from vader you dig what i'm saying let's go ahead and hop straight into this vlog man so what do i have to say about this car considering putting on 20,000 miles do i still love it do i hate it would i have bought something else should i have just got a zl1 do i feel like i wasted my money honestly bro if you guys have been around for a minute, you guys know I've had my ups and my downs with this car as far as tuning goes, as far as <laughs> drive shafts go, as far as oil goes. Like it's been it's been a roller coaster for sure to say the least. Um, I've owned this car for over a year now. We're going on to two years. Once we hit January of next year, we'll be at two years with this car. And honestly, I felt I feel like I've owned this car way longer just because of the stuff that I've gone through. So just to give you guys a quick recap, when I first bought the car, brought it home, and the dealership didn't have any oil in the car. So that was the uh, first hiccup that we faced. Then a couple months after that, the drive shaft ended up losing a second bolt. Yes, I said a second bolt. So there was already one missing. And then 
the second boat backed out and when the second boat ended up backing out literally my drive shaft was rattling like crazy it was spinning very very freely and it sounded almost as if the transmission had gone out on the car and if you guys know me y'all know i've had issues with transmissions on the past two vehicles that i've owned um, one being a 2015 2SS automatic and then the other being a 2017 Mustang 5.0 MT82 six-speed manual car so yeah man I mean I've had tons of issues with the car but the issues the cons do not outweigh the pros man honestly I'm in love with this car every day that I get to get in this car and drive it yet alone turn it on yet alone look at it in my garage it's just a blessing, man, honestly. I do not regret getting this car whatsoever. The Win LE is such a different car versus the standard 2SS. I mean, the trim package of the from the suspension to the Recaro seats to the red seat belts that are optioned on this vehicle to the 10-speed automatic, the all of the cooling components. I mean, this car is just great. It's phenomenal. I have no complaints, honestly. Um, everything that was wrong with the car was done either by the previous owner or by myself so honestly this car has been stout as far as you know the motor goes and stuff like that knock on carbon of course you dig what I'm saying but I haven't had any issues man a couple things to look out for when you're getting a 6 gen Camaro honestly man if you can try to raise the car up because one of the most notorious issues that the 6 gen Camaro has is the oil pan bolts will start to back out. And when they start to back out, you'll start to develop a, a very, very slow leak. Which you won't be able to tell unless you change your own oil or you pull the dipstick like in between oil changes and you'll start to see it'll start to kind of decrease little by little. Now... There's a simple fix for this if you're out of warranty. See, me personally, I wasn't out of warranty, but I'm more of a hands-on kind of guy, as you guys know from watching my vlogs. So, <laughs> I raised the car up in the air, and I went ahead and retorqued down every single oil pan boat that I could reach. All of the ones that I saw were leaking, and honestly, I haven't had an issue since. With that being said, y'all, if y'all can... Raise the car up before you buy it because at the end of the day, when buying a used car, a used sports car at that, you never know what the previous owner did to the car. You never know what's wrong with the car until you own the car. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So to save yourself, try to see if you can get the car jacked up. If you bring a jack, bring a jack. You know what I'm saying? The people at the dealership shouldn't really get too mad at you if you're really trying to buy the car. Um, another thing to look for, man, is the coolant reservoir. Those things, when the car is ran without a hood, they sun bake and they end up cracking. Now, when they crack, it's like a small hairline crack and you'll start to lose coolant. So, that's another thing to look out for. That was actually an issue that I had on my car because the previous owner had a Holly set up on the car and was running no hood. The only reason why I know that is because the plastic trimming on the dashboard close to the firewall was actually etched out to fit the Holly. That's another thing you can look for with the 6 gen. Just make sure, I mean, if you're trying to buy a car that hasn't been touched yet, you know what I'm saying? Look, look, look at the firewall, look at the plastic trimming and you'll see if there's a notch there's been a holly just letting you know man also the positive terminal will be sun baked so it won't be that solid red it'll kind of be pink that's another thing to look for hey man your boy ji is out here just giving y'all gems you dig honestly though in all honesty this car has been stout like i really have no complaints like i said earlier i don't regret this purchase at all a lot of people say, well, J.I., you know, this is your third Camaro. Why didn't you buy a Z01? Why didn't you buy a Z01? In all honesty, the 1LE for the SS, the SS 1LE is basically a Z01. You get the 10-speed automatic when you go 2019 and above. You get the Recaro racing seats, as we already discussed. You get the magnetic ride suspension. You get all of the cooling components and if I'm not mistaken you also get the ZL1 high side fuel pump I believe it's the high side I don't think it's the low y'all comment 
in the comment section down below if you know for sure which one it is um go ahead and leave it in the comment section down below and i believe if i'm not mistaken don't quote me on this but i believe we also get the zl1 injectors i think i'm not 100 percent sure but i i think it's the injectors it's i'm pretty sure it's the injectors and there's a whole bunch of little ZL1 giblets in this car. Like, it's basically a ZL1 just without the motor. You have the transmission, you just don't have the forged internals and the LT4 blower. That's literally it. So, that being said, man, this car is basically a Z. So, how could I be upset about not buying a Z when, like, I could just throw a Pro Charger on this car and it'd be as fast, if not faster, than a stock Z? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> without having to worry about all of the heat soaking problems that Z's have because that supercharger is so small. Come on, man. You know what I'm saying? So with that being said, y'all, I really love this car. I encourage everyone to get a 1LE, at least drive one one day, and you'll see why this car is so phenomenal. And I mean, when I say drive it, I'm not saying go on like a regular test drive through a parking lot or something or around the neighborhood. No, I mean, take this joint take it to the back roads get it through some curves and some turns get it up there in speed and really see what this 1LE is about because I'm telling y'all the 1LE is a different monster than the regular 2SS or 1SS or even SS you know what I'm saying just I'm t take my word for it if you can't get your heads on one because I'm telling you it's that it's him this is that impact for sure but with all that being said, man, that's actually going to wrap it up for today's video. 20,000 miles in, this car still puts a smile on my face from ear to ear. Like the first day I seen it turn in the corner after they washed it and threw me the keys, man. So all that being said, I say that to say this. If you're in the market for a Camaro and you're in the market for a 6th gen Camaro, you're not sure which trim level to get. I would say, in my personal opinion, get that 1LE. You won't regret it because... The 1LE is just a different monster, man. Also, try to get it in a 10-speed. The six-speed manual is great. If you're like a purebred enthusiast, you know what I'm saying? The six-speed manual is the car for you for sure. But if you want to go fast and like really fast, 10-speed <laughs> automatic is the way to go. Everybody knows it, whether you're a car enthusiast, purist, or you know, a drag racer yourself. You know, 10 speed is the way to go when you want to go fast. Now, with all that being said, y'all, that's going to wrap it up for today's vlog. If you're new to the channel, man, hit that subscribe button. Turn on those post notifications. Drop a comment in the comment section down below. It's been your boy, J.I. I'm going to tap in with y'all in the next one. Give this video a big thumbs up. Let's go ahead and roll that outro. Peace.